Ever since the ramen burger became a food frenzy, people everywhere have been trying to create new ideas for the hamburger. Well, meet ours, the truffle mac and cheese bun burger. On Eat the Trend, we find the latest food crazes, the hottest hybrids, and the most amazing culinary creations and show you how to recreate them at home. The mac and cheese burger took off in Chicago at the Rocket Burger Bar and people have been going berserk over it. Well, we came up with our own take on the bun using truffle and you will never look at cheeseburgers the same way again. So we're gonna start by making our stovetop truffle macaroni and cheese. You can find the recipe in the post below. It is so delicious and decadent. I've already made the noodles and the sauteed mushrooms and I have my sauce over here, but I haven't added the cheese yet because we have to add gelatin. Gelatin is what's going to keep the buns in place. We're literally going to make the buns of the burger out of the truffle macaroni and cheese. Now you can find these gelatin sheets at a specialty store or a restaurant supply store. You're gonna need four for the recipe. And so you take them out, and before you use them, you have to hydrate them or make them bloom. Now the easiest way to do this, see they're kind of these thin paper-like sheets, is you just roll them up and put them into water. So after about four minutes, it'll be soft, but it'll still hold together. So now I'm gonna take our gelatin, drip off that excess water, and wring out the excess because we don't wanna water down our cheese sauce. Then you're gonna whisk this in. Once it's incorporated, we're gonna add both of our cheeses. I have brie. The brie is gonna make it taste creamy and rich. And then the gruyere kinda adds that sharp bite. Ah! Oh. Whisk it together. And then as soon as the cheese is incorporated, we're gonna add it to our sauteed mushrooms and noodles. Oh, this smells wonderful. Now over here I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm just going to carefully pour my mac and cheese into the baking sheet. Ugh. Spread it around evenly. Now I'm gonna cover it with another piece of parchment paper and then weigh it down with another baking sheet the same size. Press it together, and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least three hours. This is what's gonna help it stay together when we cut the buns. So I just took my truffle macaroni and cheese out of the refrigerator, and as you can see, it has now set. So now I'm gonna use a biscuit cutter to cut the buns out of the truffle macaroni. Nice and carefully. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Look at that. We're gonna dredge it in the flour. Make sure you coat every single side. Okay. Then the egg. And then coat it with the panko breadcrumbs. And even though this has set, you wanna be fairly gentle with it because it's still a little fragile. All right, now I'm gonna put it carefully into the oil that has been heating at a medium heat. And once you put it in there, you don't wanna to touch it. Leave it for about two minutes until it gets crispy and brown on one side, and then we'll flip it over. And then we're gonna put these on a baking sheet lined with paper towels, let them drain, and then it's time to assemble the truffle mac and cheese bun burger. Truffle mac and cheese bun, romaine lettuce, 
all natural beef patty, sriracha ketchup, tomato, scallions, parmesan, and truffle mac and cheese bun. Oh my God, I cannot wait to try this burger. Mmm. <sighs> oh my God. That is stupid good. This burger is delicious. I gotta take another bite. Mmm. Oh my God. You have the gooeyness and the crispiness from the bun, from that truffle mac and cheese bun. The spiciness from the sriracha. It is so good. You guys have got to try this. All right, let me know what food hybrid trend you want to see us make in the comment box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brandy. I'm just going to sit here and devour the rest of this. Bye.